There are a couple notational dilemmas that arise when working with two or more random variables. The first dilemma is which letters are to be used for random variables. One way of going at it, which is what we've used in the previous five examples, is to use the letters X and Y to describe the random variables. Well, that's fine for two, but when you get up to three, then it's X, Y, and Z, but then after that, you run out of letters. And so a smoother way of handling three or four or five random variables, or in general, N random variables at a time, is to use subscripts and x1 and x2 may also be used for random variables. So throughout the uh, section here and throughout the chapter, sometimes x and y will be used, and sometimes x1 and x2 will be used. This might feel a little more like introductory calculus, but this generalizes much nicer to n random variables. Second dilemma is sometimes it's not clear uh, what f is, in other words, which random variables are attached to f. So if there's ever any confusion, you will see it written this way, uh, little f of x, y with indexes x and y. That is to pin down which random variables are under consideration for a particular probability mass function or probability density function. This also applies to cumulative distribution functions, capital F.